Hi everyone, I'm Kiki. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we're going on a bit of a shopping trip. So if you're interested in all of that, please keep watching. Let's get started. Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do -do. Ding ding. All right, so our first stop is Chanel. Here I am trying on one of their seasonal walks. This one has a beautiful handle that is not detachable and in lambskin. I was super tempted by it until I checked the price tag. Oh my gosh, it was 7,800 and something. And last time I bought a walk at Chanel, albeit not with a handle or anything, it was in the 4,000, I think, 5,000 range. So, oh my gosh, the price increases are killing me. Oh. I've also been wanting a pair of Chanel ballet flats for the longest time but kept putting it off and off just because there were other things I wanted to get and now that ballet flats are super in, particularly Chanel ones, it is impossible to get one in a classic beige. So the one I wore previously was their seasonal beige in a kind of darker cool toned brown where this one I'm wearing right now, not in my size, is their classic beige. It has more of a yellow tone to it. Let me know which ones you guys prefer. Personally, I, I do prefer the classic beige. That's just me. And it really sucks that they don't really have a ton of sizes right now just because um, it is trendy right now. Here is a close up of the walk for those of you that are interested. So the shoulder strap or crossbody strap is not removable as is the handle. But look at that detail, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love that kind of antique kind of like um, brushed antique gold that it has going for it right now. So beautiful, but guys, the price, I don't know. Uh, leave a comment below if you guys are still shopping at Chanel or if you guys have decided not to purchase from directly from the brand anymore. I would love to hear your thoughts about that. Leave a comment below. And here is this beautiful Givenchy logo tote. I walked through Holt Renfrew, which is kind of like a, um, I wanna say like Macy's, more like a Saks like Fifth Avenue type department store but in Canada and I was actually liking a lot of their bags. I didn't like the material, I will say, but this detail right here on this gold chain, like oh my gosh, it is giving. It is so architectural, it is so beautiful. I just really liked, yeah, I just really liked the chain. I have a thing for like really interesting um, detailed chains on bags, I guess. And price-wise, I guess it wasn't so bad compared to, let's say, like some of the, uh, the top luxury houses that are honestly just probably stupid expensive now. But when I think about how much I could buy for 2000 something before and what I can buy now is just kind of silly. I don't think I would buy a bag from Givenchy in canvas for that price, but who knows? Here I was looking at some Alexander McQueen bags. Oh, this one is so gorgeous. It's just, I really want one, but for that price tag, I know for my lifestyle that I would only probably keep it in my closet and not really get a chance to wear it, though it is stunning. I just love it. That knuckle kind of holding clasp thing is just so iconic and pretty. So this one is in pink. If I were to get one, it would probably be pink. And if they had it in gold, oh my gosh, what a beautiful combo that would be. Let me know if you guys have any Alexander McQueen bags in your collection. If you have any other things from the brand, I would love to hear about it. This is not a brand that I have personally explored very much, but I have kept it on my radar since I was younger, just never bit the bullet for it. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so, so edgy and cute. Now, I don't personally own any exotic pieces, nor am I really planning on adding any to my collection, but sometimes I go through kind of phases where I'm really, really into the look. I think it does look really, really luxurious and cool and chic at the same time, whether that be um, actual exotic leather or embossed leather. What about you guys? Do you have any exotic pieces or exotic embossed pieces in your collection? We were waiting for my husband, he was in the washroom 
<laughs> and oh my gosh once i put this in her hand just to look at and take a picture or something and she just would not let go of it like she loved it and i was like oh no oh no you are not getting this I actually find the Burberry baby clothes and kids clothes in general to be just so adorable. If only the prices were a little bit lower so I could just justify getting them for her. I think if it were a piece that she could wear more often, I could possibly justify it. But anyway, here is this adorable Thomas Bear crossbody. And I actually think the price, considering it's Burberry and designer and kind of a novelty bag was fairly reasonable. It was about a little over a thousand Canadian and I was super tempted by it. I'm not going to lie. It is so cute. I love teddy bears in general and I collect Thomas bears for those of you who know. But oh my gosh, so so cute. Here we have some Balmain pieces. This one is velvet with some crystal embellishment. What do you guys think? All right, so here are some pieces from Balmain, a nice velvet piece with crystal embellishments and the leather version. What do you guys think of these bags? I really like the leather kind of um, wrapped around the bee on the side. I think that detail is really cute. This detail on the handle is also really adorable, I think. Balmain kind of reminds me of what they're doing with Chanel, putting the Chanel um, kind of plaque Instead of on the handle, they usually put it on like I guess the top of the flap, but I think I like it on the handle as well. That's really cute. And another croc embossed piece. As we're entering the cooler months, at least where I'm from, I feel like naturally the color palette I'm more gravitating towards tends to be well, it's always neutral, but like less of the pastel tones and more towards the richer either jewel tones or um, in my case, because I don't really do a lot of color, the blacks, the browns, that kind of thing. What about you guys? Are you guys thinking of transitioning or putting away your pink bags and pastel bags or um, your kind of iridescent bags and opting for more neutral tones now that it is getting cooler? The handle of this Ferragamo bag really reminds me of the new Chanel Kelly. Like nothing else about the bag really does, but that flat handle reminds me of it for some reason. <laughs> this blue Ferragamo bag has such a nice structural look to it. It kind of reminds me of like one of those, am I pronouncing it right? Pauline, Pauline, Pauline bags that are really trendy right now. And of course, this bag over here in white. I do not personally like a really stark kind of white like this, but I do love the simplicity of the bag. I would just prefer it in a different color, but the clasp, like the, the lock clasp on it is just so, so beautiful. I love that. I really like very simple kind of um, clasps as well, but I think on a bag this simple, there is just, Something really beautiful about the asymmetry of the design of the clasp. What do you guys think? some Balmain tote bags. I love this black tote bag because honestly, Balmain just knows how to do buttons. Isn't the detailing in this so, so gorgeous and how you have unicorns on it? I totally love this bag. If I were to get a black tote bag, this would definitely be a high up there contender, I think. What do you guys think about this bag? I can see why Balmain blazers are so popular, like the detailing. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm personally not someone who can wear heels all day or even for any kind of extended period. I have fallen arcs, so I love Birkenstocks and I just noticed that Birkenstocks, I don't know when this happened, seems to have like a new line of kind of slightly higher end um, sandals and shoes. This one seems to have like a slightly different leather material and buckle and it is so so nice honestly it looks really luxurious and the price point is the price point is still very reasonable in my opinion I 
guys enjoyed today's shopping vlog, shopping with me. Today was kind of a mix of a bunch of different brands. I hope you enjoyed this format. Please let me know if you have any requests for videos you would like to see me do. I would be happy to try to do so. I know I don't upload quite as frequently as I did before. Just really busy with, um, as you know, some medical uh, family issues at the moment. So yeah. Thank you so much for your support though. I recently hit a thousand subscribers and I'm really, really honestly so grateful for that. Thank you guys so much for always supporting me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Done it. Thanks for watching! Come again! Bye bye!